Hey guys, I hope you're having a great day. So today we are gonna talk about inviting. Uh, I know that we've already talked about what we do once you add a challenger, what you do once you add a coach, the power hour, um, your why, your reason for doing this, all of that good stuff, but we haven't talked about inviting. And of the three vital behaviors, which are inviting, um, being a product of the product, and personal development, for me, this was like the hairiest, scariest part of it. I was like, oh, I'm on a roll. I read 15 minutes of personal development, and and I drank my shake and I did my workout, so I am done ski. But the most important part is inviting. Um, will people eventually just start coming to you and you never have to invite them? And you're super lucky, maybe. Um, but it's scary for people to reach out to you. Uh, much like for you, it might be scary to reach out to people. Um, so I encourage you to, I just like choked on my spit, uh, I encourage you to start small, um, start reconnecting with people, um, start thinking about your newsfeed, okay? Think about the people that you see constantly on your newsfeed that are rolling through. It's probably a lot of the same people, and those lot of the same people are going to be the lot of the same same people that are seeing your stuff. Um, so the only people that are seeing your things are the people who you're seeing their things. So if you're not seeing a lot of new stuff on your newsfeed, if you're seeing a lot of um, like beach body coaches, for instance, um, we talked about it previously, but that's going to make in your head you feel like it is a saturated market and it might play mind games with you. So I think that it's important to maybe unfollow beach body coaches. Just saying. Um, because there's going to be people who you gather inspiration from. And again, there's also that fine line because it might make you feel like it's a saturated market when it absolutely is not. There are so many people out there that need help. So many people whose lives we can touch and reach out to. Um, so again, it's scary for people to reach out to you. They might see your public Facebook uh, invites and posts for challenge groups or for um, coach opportunity calls or whatever it might be that you have going on but sometimes it's scary for people to actually leave a comment and say like hey I'm interested because they're scared that they're gonna be sucked into this vortex and never get out like you're gonna bother them forever and pester and all that good stuff so it's important for you to reach out to people to reconnect with people every time you're reconnecting with somebody that is a new face that you're gonna see on your newsfeed and you're gonna know that your posts are also reaching them um, so it's really important for a few reasons to be reaching out with people inviting privately um, and also on the, on a public forum um, so you know what start small start with reconnecting uh, Fridays were my big days for me to be excited about reaching out to people. I, all I would say literally is, happy Friday, hope you have a great day. Got any plans this weekend? Uh, and I'd keep it super simple. And people love Fridays, so they like wake up. I would do it late Thursday night. They wake up Friday mornings and they're like, hell yeah, it's Friday. I'm excited. I'm going to respond to this message. Happy Friday, girl. And they'll respond to it because they're excited. Um, so for me, that was a biggie. You know, you should be doing it every single day, uh, inviting and reconnecting and just touching base with people. Um, but until I got comfortable personally, Fridays were my really big days, like late Thursday night, first thing Friday morning when I woke up, uh, I would send out like 30 messages and be like, oh yeah, I'm good for the week, whoop whoop. So I'm not saying that you should do that, but for me, that's what I did in the beginning because that's what made me feel comfortable. Um, you know, something as small as, you know, I love your profile picture, it's so pretty, or how are you doing? Um, it doesn't have to be like this long scripted, like, I am a beach body coach now and I'm really hoping that you join my challenge group and you know I've even kept it um, you know short and sweet if I wanted to be more to the point and not just to reconnect and actually be an invite to one of our groups um, I would send something along the lines of hey I'm not sure if you've noticed but I am a beach body health and fitness coach and I run these online challenge groups monthly and I thought that it would be something that you would really love um, so please let me know uh, if I can give you more information on it and then I'll usually end with a like, how's the family doing? Or do you have any fun plans this weekend? Or whatever it might be, um, so that it's engaging on another level. It's not just for that one purpose. Um, you know what, and what really, really drove it home and allowed me to feel more comfortable with it is my belief in the products. So once I was using the products every single day, I was loving the challenge groups, I love the vibe and the culture and the community that's been created, um, you know, and I knew from firsthand experience, product of the product, um, that 
these products can truly change people's lives and the benefit and the impact that these challenge groups can have, um, that's when it became really easy for me to invite. That's when it became like, hey, you know, these groups have been absolutely amazing. Um, they have helped transform my life. I would love to uh, open an invitation to you. Um, you know, please let me know if you'd like more information and leave it at that. Like as your confidence grows and as your belief in the products grow, it becomes so much easier to invite. Um, it's still, for me, out of the three vital behaviors, the toughest for me to get to every day. It's kind of that frog that I gotta eat every day. Um, and I'm like, okay, I just get it done, ugh, invites. Um, so, you know, it's definitely something that gets easier. Uh, and again, once you are a champion of these products and know firsthand what they can do for you and for other people and how they've impacted your life, it just gets easier and easier. Now there are reconnects, there are the um, you know straight to the point challenge group invites, and then there are the totally hairy scary uh, coach opportunity invites. So I'll do like coach sneak peeks, I'll do um, like recently I did a Periscope call where I kind of answered questions and had potential coaches, um, not only for myself, but for our downline in it. Uh, and I kind of just answered questions, uh, you know, let people know how they can get involved, whether they be a challenger, whether they be uh, a coach, um, but just kind of giving them that full rounded picture of what Beachbody is all about, because it's so much more than, you know, is at the surface and what meets the eye. Um, but when you are inviting people to things like that, again, like once you've seen the culture, the community, just what the overall experience is about and immersed yourself in that culture and got involved, um, it becomes so much easier to share that with people. And then your mind kind of like starts, like you add people to your network and you're like, oh, which is something we'll talk about soon. Um, but once you start adding people in, you kind of build this list of characteristics of people that you want to have not only in your life but a part of this business and working with um you know you notice that so you're like wow this person is like super positive and they post stuff about fitness already like i feel like this would be such a good match for them um you know and it allows you to more easily just reach out to people like i'll send a message i'll be like hey like i can't help but share this opportunity with you i just can't help but feel that it is such a perfect match for reasons X, Y, and Z. I think that you'd be so great at, great at it. And it's already something that you're doing and it'd be a great extension of your normal life that you're already, you know, living out and sharing about. And, you know, I just had to share this opportunity with you. Please let me know if I can get you any more information. Bam, done, send. And, you know, it's amazing how many people reach back out and are like, you know, I've been thinking about it or my very favorite with any, any invite is, oh my gosh, I've been meeting meaning to reach out to you but I'm so busy every time I get messages like that it just reconfirms and validates the fact that it is so important to not only do those big public um, announcements or posts uh, it's so important and so vital for yourself and the growth of your business to reach out privately to people too because so much happens behind the scenes um, and it's really behind the scenes where those dreams are made and those goals are worked up to and met and built and it is vital um, so inviting is a hairy, scary step, but it gets easier with time. It gets easier with practice. Don't overcomplicate it. Breadcrumb the information. If somebody responds, and I still do this now, I'll send out like 30 messages and I'm like, oh crap, people are responding. And Donnie's like, what is it? don't you want people to respond? I'm like, yeah, but not right now. <laughs> I'm in my power hour. It's not response time. Um, but no, it's, you know, breadcrumb information. If it's the culture, the community that's going to stand out to them, if they really need nutritional guidance, whatever it is, find out what their goals are, ask them, and make sure that you are sharing information that is relevant to what their goals are and what they're looking for within these groups. Um, that's all I got on inviting today, um, and I look forward to hearing any questions that you guys have. Uh, love you all. Hope you have a great day. Bye.